Okay, so let's get started. We're going to learn about TSL, and that's the 3JS shading language. Okay, and at the end of this video, we'll have set this up in our IDE, and we'll have a working version of TSL. Okay, so what is TSL? It stands for 3JS shading language. It's a high-level abstraction that is part of the 3JS library, and it helps us to write shader code in a structured, readable way, instead of writing raw GLSL or WGSL. We'll also write it directly in our JavaScript and TypeScript files, so that means we'll benefit from the functions of our IDE, IntelliSense code completion, linting, tree shaking, and it's best suited when we're writing customized vertex, fragment, and or compute shaders. So it's not going to make everything in 3JS easier. It's mostly about when you want to write shaders. And TSL is a pretty good option for that, and I think you will like it. Okay, so we have to import TSL into our 3JS project. Now TSL is an interpreter. It will take our code and convert it to the equivalent WebGL2 or WebGPU shader code. Okay, so that's GLSL or WGSL. Now that depends on the capabilities of our browser. So everybody's browsers are different. So what TSL will do at runtime, will try to accommodate that end client's browser. Okay, now when we're using the TSL interpreter, at the current time of creating this video, we don't use the three module JS that you may be familiar with. We use three webgpu.js. Okay, now this information may change. TSL is still heavily under development. This video will be using ReJS release 173 and in 173, three this is what you do okay so if that information changes then i will update this documentation okay also when we're importing we have the option to import using import maps or a build tool and i'll show you both ways Okay, so if you're using import maps, then here is an example import map script that you can use. Just note that we're creating an alias 3, which imports 3 web GPU JS and an alias 3 web GPU, which imports the same file. Now, as the future goes on, that might become one line. Also, this 3 TSL, which is importing 3 TSL.js, may also end up just becoming one import. It's hard to know really what the future is yet with TSL, but in version 173, this is a typical import map that you would use. If this information changes, I will update this documentation. Okay, so just whatever this documentation says should represent the most recent version of 3JS, despite what you might see in this video, because it's just much easier to update documentation with changes than it is to recreate videos every time. But anyway, also note that if you are using import maps, these paths need to be from the perspective of your web browser. So path to where you can find free webgpu.js. Okay. Now, you can also use a CDN, and here are some CDN links, for example. Here, I've just got version. You would replace that with whichever version you're using. This particular import map with CDN links works for 0173. So you put 0173.0 there. It also works for 172, 171, and 170, and several more versions before then. But if it doesn't work for version 174 or whatever happens in the future, say 179, I will update this section as well to reflect whatever the number I have written down here. Okay, now that's import maps. In this course, we will be developing using a build tool such as Vite or Webpack. I will be using Vite in these videos, and all the code that I provide, you can copy and paste, will work in a Vite template that I'll give you a link to in a moment. Now, when we do it this way, we don't need to use import maps because Vite and Webpack will bundle all our scripts into one smaller file, which will also tree shake any unused code. You don't get that when you use import maps. So so using a build tool slash bundler has benefits over using import maps, but both options work. Okay, so when we use a build tool, we will need to install the three repository and optionally the type definitions as well. Now, I recommend doing that because your IDE will use those. And when you're writing your code, it will help you make sure you're writing the correct thing. Okay, now whether you're using import maps or a build tool, your imports will look exactly the same. Okay, so import all as three from three web GPU. We could also use named imports here instead you may have seen that with 3tsl we tend to always use named imports so for this example i'm importing position local function time and a vec3 from 3tsl and for your add-ons it's just exactly the same and this is an example of using orbit controls okay so let's set up a development environment and get a working example of TSL running on our own computer. I have a boilerplate already created from my 3JS TypeScript course, and we will use that throughout this course. Now, if you're not interested in TypeScript, don't worry. At the time of creating this course, there 
there are no type definitions for TSL. So I will be making my TypeScript project work in that case. So whether you are interested in TypeScript or not, the course will still be relevant. Okay. So I will generally be using TypeScript files, but writing JavaScript. And for those that want to know TypeScript, as TypeScript declarations start to appear, I will add comments to my code if the information is important or not. But anyway, most of the code you will see will work in JavaScript and TypeScript. Okay, in order so that we can get started faster, we'll use this template that I've already created from my beginner course about 3JS. And also, since this is considered an intermediate or advanced course, you are very likely to already have Git, Node.js, and an IDE, for example, VS Code, installed on your system. Okay, so go onto a place on your computer. I'm going to open a command prompt, and I'm going to go to my D drive. Now that's a good drive for me where I'm going to work from. You might want to work on your C drive or a different location. Now I'm going to copy this whole line, git clone the boilerplate. It's a Vite boilerplate and it's going to save it into a folder called 3TSL course. Okay, enter. Okay, I can now CD into that folder, CD 3TSL course, enter. And since I already have VS Code installed, I'm just going to open it up and we can do that by writing code dot and that means the current folder, enter. Okay, so that's opened up VS Code for me with a welcome page with the boilerplate files here already, already set up. And that's the source folder there, main TS. And we can actually install this and see it running now. If you open a terminal, so terminal, control shift, single quote. If you want to use the keyboard, first thing we should do is install the dependencies that are listed in the package JSON. And we can see this is version 173, but I update this boilerplate from time to time. So there might be a newer version for you there. Anyway, so npm install okay so that's created the node modules folder with all its dependencies and we'll find the 3js version 173 in there or whichever one is listed in package json this has also installed the type definitions for three so this one doesn't have any information about tsl yet but that may change with newer versions of the type definitions anyway we can run npm run dev enter okay now visit that url i can just press that using control and then click it and that's a working 3JS example already in our browser. Now, this is not TSL yet. This is classic 3JS. If we go down a little bit, I have some code. So copy this whole lot here to the clipboard. Use that little icon, or you can just highlight and press Control C like so. Go into Source Main TS, select All, Delete, Control V to paste, Control S to save. The Vite has rebuilt our project. It hasn't shown any errors. If we look up here, import all as three from three web GPU, import color from three TSL, and I'm using the orbit controls. If we open up the browser, this is our first TSL project. That color is coming from a TSL command. We have an Orbit Controls, which is just a classic 3JS add-on anyway. Anyway, it's just a very minimal example. It's a plane and the color is a TSL command. And if I scroll down, that there is TSL. Now, a lot of things have happened behind the scenes for that, and we'll go over that in the next video. But just going back to the documentation, right down the bottom, I have a working example. And this is a JavaScript example that runs on the internet. And you can view the source of that by pressing that icon on all the working examples on this website. And this will show you a version that uses an import map. So throughout the course, there are two versions of the code that you can look at. There's the version uses the import maps and the version where you are running it locally from your IDE. Anyway, excellent. You should have it working on your computer before you continue to the next lesson where we will begin to look at more about what's actually going on here. Anyway, excellent.